There are some new images for Dune 2021 that have been revealed on the movie's new and improved website. From new looks at Baron Harkonnen and Raban, to news on the HBO Max series 2 and Hans Zimmer's soundtrack, there's lots to discuss surrounding Denis Villeneuve's science fiction epic. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the new images and news, along with giving my own thoughts towards it. Before I get into it though, if you want to see much more videos on Dune leading up to its release date, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into the newest photos and reveals for Dune. So alongside a stunning new trailer which came out last week, there was some other news and images from Dune which went under the radar. A lot of the images in particular give us great looks at some of the characters, which I'm personally excited about seeing, such as Baron Harkonnen, along with the locations that the Atreides and other houses will be centred at soon after they arrive on the planet Arrakis. Hopefully all of this marks the start of a big marketing campaign for Denis Villeneuve's film. Starting with the images, you can find these on the updated website for the film, and it gives us a bio for every main character, alongside new looks at them. This includes older images too, but it's cool to see them throw in some new ones for the fans too. The ones that stood out centred around Baron Harkonnen, who like in the books, is bathing in a Seleucan mud bath. This is a great look which once again shows the demonic presence of the character and how he will be adapted in a fitting dark way to match the approach from the director. With this, we also get a reverse shot of the Baron looking at Dave Batista's Raban, hinting at the many conversations between both of their characters. All of these images show how thought out the costumes and locations are for each of the factions, and the black insect-like clothing makes you feel uncomfortable whenever they appear in frame. We then get some more looks at the Atreides, with a shot of Paul and presumably his father Duke Leto speaking on top of Caladan Hill, an extension of that scene we saw in the trailer. This comes along with a close-up of Paul, presumably taking in his own thoughts, just before his family prepare to leave for Arrakis. But we also get a shot of his family on Arrakis, with a meeting in the Arakeen Keep, which is just some of the elements that I'm really excited for. These scenes were very crucial in the book, and will set a tone and pacing for the rest of the events to come. There were further additional photos for certain characters like Jason Momoa's Duncan Idaho running through the Arakeen Desert, a close-up of Helen Mohaim, and a better look at Pitta following that brief look we got of him in the trailer. But overall, these images just give a fantastic sense of the design on display and how Denis Villeneuve's team are putting excruciating detail into everything we are seeing. But alongside all of these new fantastic images and looks at Dune, there's even more news that has come out over the last week too. To begin with, Denis Villeneuve's upcoming adaptation isn't just getting one soundtrack released by Hans Zimmer, in fact, it's getting three, which sounds like a lot until you realise all of them will feature music from the legendary composer. It was noted that Water Tower Music announced it's releasing three separate music albums from the film, with each featuring Hans Zimmer's original work from the project. The first two are set to release ahead of the movie's US debut on October the 22nd, and the final album premieres the day Dune arrives in theatres. The first soundtrack is the Dune Sketchbook, which is comprised of extended, immersive musical explorations from the film's score, and is available on September the 3rd. The second is the Dune Original Motion Picture Soundtrack, and it features the iconic composer's original film score. This debuts on September the 17th. 
And the third and final edition is The Art and Soul of Dune, the companion soundtrack to the book of the same title, and it offers uniquely crafted versions of the film's main themes. Zimmer curates them to accompany the reader on their journey through a visually dazzling book, written by the film's executive producer, Tanya Lapointe. The book offers unparalleled insight and exploration into the film and will release on October the 22nd. So fans will get hours and hours of music to relive all of their favourite Dune moments. You can listen to an early sample of this with the two tracks that Water Tower Music released last week, entitled Paul's Dream and Ripples in the Sand, which I will link down below in the description. But on top of all the soundtrack news, there was also a big update surrounding the prequel series, Dune The Sisterhood. In particular, HBO Max has found its new showrunner for the upcoming live action TV series, set in the world of the upcoming Denis Villeneuve directed adaptation of Frank Herbert's sci-fi saga. The news comes from Deadline, which reveals that Diane Adimu John, writer for The Haunting of Bly Manor, will serve as showrunner on The Sisterhood, replacing original showrunner John Spates, who left the project back in November 2019 in order to focus on the script for the planned feature film sequel. Dune The Sisterhood will serve as a prequel to the film's focus on the Bene Gesserit, an enigmatic order of women who expertly weave through the feudal politics and intrigue of the Imperium, pursuing plans of their own that will ultimately lead them to the planet Arrakis, known to its inhabitants as Dune. Adimu John is set to write and showrun The Sisterhood, while Denis Villeneuve is attached to direct the first episode and will also executive produce. Now, I must say, I do think this was a risky choice as the chosen writer's credits do seem to be a bit unconvincing when it comes to adapting such a big and important project, but for them to replace the original writer with her, then she must have impressed the people at WB and Denis Villeneuve himself. It's understandable why John Spates left to focus on the Dune sequel, and hopefully this new choice will work well in bringing the sisterhood to life. We'll have to see, but again, all of these other projects do need to ride the wave of success from the first film coming this October. But they were all the latest details surrounding the new images and news for Denis Villeneuve's Dune. I think it's great that we are finally seeing the marketing kick off in a big way for the new adaptation of Frank Herbert's world, and hopefully we'll all be able to see it on the big screen later this year. Let me know down below in the comment section what you personally think towards the new images, alongside your own thoughts on all the other news that came out over the last week. For more videos surrounding Dune leading up to its release this year, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. I will be continuing to cover news and topics for Dune whenever new information comes out, alongside episodes of my Road to Dune series very soon, so look out for all of these uploads. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.